Optics, I mean, you've got to have great optics when you go west. Uh, without question, you've got to be able to spot those small telltale flickers of the tail and, and antlers in the, in the grass and, and just movement. And you've got to have magnification uh, more so out west a lot of times than you do need in the east. You know, when I'm hunting back east or even in Texas, eight and 10 power binoculars are, are fine. I don't use a spotting scope as much, but when I go west, it's going into my backpack. I like it. very powerful binoculars. I want to be able to have that magnification so that I can glass into those valleys, into that brush, and, and look for things. You know, not everybody really has a need for a, a good spotting scope. Guys that hunt uh, big long senderos in Texas, guys that hunt big food plots, guys that hunt way out west and are climbing mountains and glassing along valleys, big alfalfa fields. A uh, huge reason to have a, a spotting scope in those situations. It allows you to study game from long distances for a spot and stock, uh, be able to study their movements, where they're going, where they're bedded down. I mean, there's so many, so many reasons, you know, where you can magnify to that, you know, 30 to 45 or more power in those situations. Um, a, good, a good tripod to hold them steady in those situations will really pay off for people. Uh, so, you know, in those types of situations for me, I want a very simple, easy to use focal point uh, with a zoom on it after that. I want to be able to zoom it in and out really fast. I'll start wide, find my target, zoom it in, focus, and really be able to look at the clarity of them. Um, in Texas, a lot of times people use spotting scopes to really define and determine the, a lot of their management deer for the same reasons. They want to be able to get in and study them and age them. So that's the reason why a spotting scope is such a key asset to a lot of hunters nationwide.